Welcome back guys. We have a crystal bronze horseman 2.0 to talk about today. And this was loaned in from my buddy Jason over at the Brass Brigade with um, a couple of other knives that we'll be talking about over the next few days as well. Um, interesting kind of case. This is almost like a um, like a dry bag that you would use, you know, on the river and whatnot. And it has some loops here. You could molly it onto something and I don't know. So it's kind of, I don't know if it is waterproof, but that zipper with the rubber kind of on the outside is indicative of uh, that type of a case. So kind of cool. Has a patch on there if you're into that. We'll put that off to the side. It does come with a card. Show you a couple of the details here. Crystal. And it comes with a bunch of extra hardware. So there's even a spare lock bar insert right over here and a different pivot and just, yeah, like a complete set of hardware minus the bearings. So it's not like a CKF where they give you extra bearings and everything also. So eh, kind of a miss. They should have included extra bearings. If they're going to go to that level, give us the extra bearings. So it's all titanium, stonewash blade, M390. I'm kind of jumping around the specs here, just, just how it goes sometimes. Um, but yeah, we'll dive into the specs and then we'll take a close-up look and we'll talk about mostly what I like and what I don't like as well because, well, that's just how it goes sometimes. Five and an eighth oh, uh, closed. Eight and three quarters overall. So it's a good size knife. 3.68 inch blade with a 3.7 inch uh, 7.6 cutting edge. Yes, the cutting edge is longer than the blade. How I measure it, because I measure the blade from the tip of the handle to the tip of the blade. And the cutting edge is from the edge to the tip. And because the handle's on an angle, that's just how it works out. You can measure them however you want to measure them if you think there's a different way. Okay, M390, as I said, the blade thickness is 0.136. Overall thickness, super or thinness, I should say, is 0.405 minus the clip, of course. Runs on ceramic multi-row bearings, so it is super smooth. You can flick it. You can thumb it. And you can most of the time flip it. Okay, it is comes in at 4.3 ounces, and we'll take a closer look. Nice stone wash, I do like that. The logo is kind of a geometric, it's kind of a cool logo. I mean, I'm not one to talk since I don't have a logo, so we'll just leave it at that. Um, but these are all milled out pretty deep, which helps aid in the weight reduction. And then on the inside, not only have they milled the outside, they've milled big pockets on the inside. So this could have been a much heavier knife. I mean, it's at four, just a hair over four ounces now. But yeah, this could have been a solid five, if not more. Pocket clip is nicely milled, works very well. Does have a steel lock bar insert, which actually kind of hangs down and works as an over travel stop. M390 is limited. This is number 29 of 150, and it's Ivan Braganet's design. Much like the Crystal Aurora that I did recently as well. Flipper tab is a big, not a big, it has issues. It's a little muted. It's a little bit subdued. And there's not, there's jimping, but it's not very strong jimping, if you will. So it's kind of, you don't get a good purchase on it. Your finger can slip off and that's aided or that's compounded by the lock bar. So where I just would normally grab it to deploy it, my fingers are on the lock bar. And there's a little bit of tension there. So that doesn't help in 
deploying. Okay, what I have found is actually grab up on top here, pull back and push in. It's kind of like a push button slash light switch. So it's 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 a little odd to me. I don't like the flipper tab. If you just put your pad here, it works, but your muscle memory from all of your other knives is off. It's it's more of a you have to think about it. Whereas these other knives that I'm picking up here, you don't think. You just kind of hit it and it goes, right? Well, you just pick this up and you hit it and it, you have to be more of a focused flip, if you will. More of a concerted effort. Um, so I have, I have issues with that. Fortunately, it flicks really, really well, and it thumbs almost as well as it flicks. This one actually kind of flicks better than it thumbs because you kind of need to, you know, kind of put your thumb in and out rather than just grab it. It's just, if you just kind of bring your thumb in, it's not quite there. So you got to bring it back a little bit and then dig in. So it's a little weird with the thumb, but the reverse flick, spidey flick, whatever you middle finger flick, that works fairly well. A little bit of wrist even, and you're good to go. You can't really choke up on this, which is okay. Feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, the pocket clip does, I feel the pocket clip. I think if I was using this all day to break down a bunch of cardboard or something like that, the pocket clip may get a little bit uncomfortable. And the fact that it's very thin makes it very comfortable, yet sometimes uncomfortable. Sometimes you just like a little bit more meat in your hand to kind of fill your hand, like the Demko 8020, which is considerably you know thicker. It just, it gives you a more solid feeling in your hand. Um, Sometimes a very thin knife like this, you know, just it, it's solid, but it's different. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think you guys understand what I'm talking about, right? So all in all, a cool knife. It's, it was about a hundred, about 250 bucks when they came out. Uh, I think they're all sold out and good luck finding them now, but they were about 250 new for the stonewash. There was a satin version that I think was 260 maybe 265 you know again somewhere right around that 250 plus or minus range so let's do a couple of quick size comparisons here we got the sharpie we got the spider codelica we have a d sized battery because like we can't always just use the double a as a size comparison right um i totally did not bring out a cookie. So no Oreo display today, but that's okay. Um, here it is next to the Demco AD20 in lime green G10. So basically the same size, really just a little bit of a thicker handle on the Demco, uh, different lock mechanism altogether and different opening and closing, right? So it's, and I've done videos on the Demcos. You can find them on my channel. Um, the flipper world, how about the budget Kubi KB237, which is about, you know, a little bit bigger than the Delica, just to kind of give you a, a little bit of a transition there. Try to give you guys size comparisons that everybody is familiar with. And I know a lot of my friends and stuff are not into the whole sub $50 budget knives. So you may not know what this one is. So, but I do encourage you to go pick one up because for $41 on Amazon, can you really go wrong? Really? I don't know. I don't think so. There you go. Anyway, thanks to uh, Jason for loaning this in. I'll put a link to his channel down below. Um, thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow because there's more cool stuff. Thanks guys. Have a great day.